my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to catfish. <laughs> just kidding, but honestly, I'm a mess right now. I'm in my pajamas. I just got out of the shower, washed my hair. That's why my half is, my hair is like half dry and I look like Hagrid, but like also crossed with Willy Wonka, the first one. Also crossed with Lord Farquaad. <laughs> Anyway, I am going to a festival tonight. Well, this afternoon kind of thing. It's not even really like a festival. It's just like a music event, I guess. So I'm actually dressing nicely rather than like a skank, um, like I usually do. So yeah, we're just going to get ready for that. I'm going to be doing like a full on transformation. I'm going to show you how I prep my skin. I'm going to show you my makeup and I'm going to show you my outfit, but I'm not going to show you how I do my hair because I will probably just end up putting it in a bun anyway, because I'm lazy when it comes to my hair. So so we're gonna hop right into it. I have already cleansed my skin in the shower with my Murad prebiotic cleanser and this one is so beautiful it's like a kind of gel that turns into an oil it's so hydrating and then next I'm going in with my Murad Invisi scar this is seriously life-changing for me my skin is looking so great minus like a few little baby pimples but i do have my period so that's great i'm actually working with murad currently which is seriously the best thing of my life they sent me enough product to do like an eight week transformation um i'm in my like sixth week right now and my skin has just improved so much pretty much all from this product right here the resurfacing treatment as you can see I just kind of put it where I actually do get pimples or where I've got a bit of scarring because I do get eczema so I don't want to put it all over my face because it'll probably trigger my eczema and I love putting this on before makeup as well because it kind of fills in your pores it's got like a silicon kind of base which is fine don't freak out at the word silicon in skincare it's actually really some forms of silicon are really good for healing so now that that's on, I'd actually normally moisturize with my Murad um, moisturizing gel. Um, but Matt actually took that to Perth with him because he's a turd. He Anytime I rave about a product, especially moisturizers, he loves like that hydrated feeling. He will steal it. He's got it in his stupid toiletries bag. So I'm just going to have to go in with another moisturizer. I did have a mini one that I bought, but I can't find it, which is annoying. I want my skin to be fresh and glowy looking because now that it's daylight savings, it stays light right up until kind of like 8.30. So I want my skin to look fresh. I hate the look of a cake face in the daytime. If you guys have any questions about Murad or the Invisi Scar treatment, please, please comment down below because I would love to help you and answer your questions and talk about my experience with it. But I will also be doing a full video on it. Or not this in particular, but my Murad skincare routine and really focusing on this bad boy because nothing has kicked my forehead acne in the butt like that has. So that's great. All right, my darlings, moving on to makeup. So I'm going in with my Napoleon Purtis Autopilot Primer. But this one's really nice and hydrating and my makeup just doesn't come off when I wear it. Really kind of sits in the cracks. If you've got dry skin, it's a great one. And then just to put like an extra layer of protection on my oilier areas, I'm going in with Benefits Professional, and I'm kind of just putting that in my nasolabial folds and where I've got any acne that I don't want concealer to slide off. So it's going to like fill in pores and block any oil flow. And while I let that settle in for a little bit, I'm going to mix my foundation because I actually have like three different products that I'm using currently. I really want to tie my hair up, but I've got to let it dry. Yeah, I don't have the right color for my skin right now because I'm kind of like just a bit darker than my pale skin. But I also have the Bondi Sands Bronze Lights Body Makeup. I don't know if it's body makeup or just... Oh, it's for the face, but I've been using it on my body. I was wondering why the bottle's so small. It doesn't give me eczema and a lot of these products give me eczema. So like the Loving Tan one, unfortunately, I love it, but it gives me eczema. So I tend to use this. So first I'm going to start out by actually applying these Mecca Cosmetica Illuminating Drops to my face. And then I've got Too Faced Do You in Warm Beige and I have NARS Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc. And I'm just mixing it on my hand. And then going in with the Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend that into my face. The coverage is amazing. Look at that. Oh my god, my skin looks so so glowy and then I honestly just use the tiniest bit on my nose I feel like if you've got a lot of foundation on your nose that's kind of where it starts to look cakey you can really notice 
Like, it's actually pretty cool. If you really focus on the areas that need coverage and then the areas that are a bit more clear, if you kind of leave them a little bit lighter with coverage, they, it just looks so much fresher and it looks like you're not wearing as much makeup as you are. And then I'm gonna take my Glossier Stretch Concealer in G8 and I'm just gonna go right in with my Beauty Blender, which isn't very hygienic, but whatever. And pop that right onto my pimples to give a little bit of extra coverage. Now for under eye, I'm going to use the Cakeless Concealer by Benefit. Just right in that inner corner there where I need a bit of brightening and then like that. And then I'm going to blend that in with a beauty blender. Okay, I'm looking so shiny right now, so it's time to set. I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder. And I'm just going to really set where I need it. So I'm going to use my beauty blender to set my under eyes. This is always risky because sometimes I never realize how dry my under eyes are until I do this. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm so crepey right now, which is right now. I'm really gonna shove it in those nasolabial folds again. I really don't want any shininess coming through there because that's just ugly. And then I don't want my concealer sliding off any of my pimples. So I'm gonna go in over that and mattify those as well. It's really important to mattify your pimples, even if you're going um, for a glowy look because like I said, you don't want to make them look more noticeable Sometimes they can really like reflect the light and that's just not ideal I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty matchstick in mocha to contour my cheeks my nose My chin and my jaw, but I'm not gonna contour my forehead because I realize that I do have a big forehead But I don't know. I don't really like contouring it for some reason. I like to own my large forehead and then I'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender. Sometimes I actually, depending on the weather, my Fenty contour stick is nice and blendable or sometimes it goes a bit hard. Um, when it's blendable, I just use a beauty blender, but sometimes you need to use a brush. And I always bounce this upwards. I feel like it really just like lifts your cheekbone and it, it makes it easier to focus where you want the product. It doesn't end up all over your cheek and looking muddy. Now for bronzing, I'm going to use two products. I'm going to go in with my Chantecaille Gel Bronzer, but I only really want to do a little bit of this, and then I'm going to go over it with a powder bronzer. So I just kind of layer that on top of where I put the contour to warm it up so it doesn't look so cool toned. I really like the fresh look a cream bronzer gives. So that's why I'm using that underneath the powder because I don't want to just use a powder. I don't know why. And then I've got this baby. Get out. So satisfying to look at. Ta-da. And just warm up those areas that I already applied the cream. God, my hair is... And really kind of bronze the tip of my nose and the bridge because that doesn't have much makeup on it. There we go. Cheeks. Blush has got to be one of my favorite steps. I feel like it really transforms the face look because I feel like a lot of your base makeup kind of looks the same and then once you move on to cheeks, you can really transform it. You can turn it into something a bit more. Daytime, nighttime, shimmery, matte, you know. So I'm going in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mecca Glow. This one's like a really nice coral color, which I'm excited for because I'm going to be doing a coral lip as well. Oh, it's so beautiful. And this has like a shimmer through it as well. Bridge of the nose again so that I look sun-kissed. And now blend that the heck out. Oh my god, that's really cute. That's such a nice color. Such like a natural flush. My face looks fat. Highlighter, I'm just going in with my Benefit What's Up Cream Highlighter. I feel like you can really see a powder highlighter on the face in the daytime. So I always, always wear cream highlight if I'm going out in the daytime. I'm not going to highlight my forehead or my chin because the foundation's already really glowy and I don't want to look oily. So I'm going to leave it there. Look at that. It's so gorge. Now that's my face done. I'm just going to set that down with the Morphe and Jeffree Star setting spray. It smells so good like strawberries. I'm going to move you in 
Now we are going to be doing our eyebrows. Benefit Precisely My Brow in shade 4. And I'm really just going to focus this through the areas where I don't have a lot of hair. Like the tails kind of go a bit sparse. So I'm just going to fill that in and pretend that they're not sparse. And I'm kind of just stopping it kind of um, where the arch starts because I like that ombre look. And then I'm going to go in my Glossier Boy Brow and just brush those hairs up. And I'm going to run that all the way through my brows, even the front portion. Give them a bit of love. Sometimes I think my brows are alright and then I go to edit the footage and I'm just like, wow. In HD they are so far from alright. I actually hate this brow. Oh, it's so ugly. It doesn't even know what it wants to be. Now I'm going to go in with eye primer because I'm moving on to eyes now. I've just got my Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Uh, I actually wanted a tinted one. This one's just kind of like clear. I couldn't find one though, so we've just got to work with what we got. And I'm just going to set that the tiniest bit, but I don't want it to crease. All right. Jeffy Star Thirsty Palette. And I'm pretty sure I'm just going to use one color, which is this color right here. Splash. I'm just going to spray my brush. This is from the Jeffree Star collection as well, which is now available at Mecca. And I'm pretty sure I'm just going to cover my whole entire lid with this blue color and then just kind of wing it out a little bit. And then I'm just going to put some gloss over it and that's going to be it. Whoa. That's insane. And I'm just patting it on and I'm just stopping right at the crease, like literally in my crease. And because my eyes are a little bit hooded, I'm not going to follow my natural crease as soon as I get to the outer third portion because otherwise my eyes are going to look droopy. So if you've got slight hooding, just kind of take it out straight like that because that's going to give your eyes a little bit of a lift. I might blend it out a little bit just to soften the edges. All right, now let's get the other eye to match. Love it. All right, so that's that. I wanna do eyeliner. I'm a bit nervous for this bit because I've never actually used an eye gloss. I have, but like only for a photo. I haven't actually ever worn one out. So um, this is a pretty bold move, but I really wanna wear eyeliner. I just don't know if it's gonna smudge and transfer. Bit like maybe I should just, I'm just gonna use, mm. So just use black eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm just gonna use black eyeshadow. So I've just got the Tardis Pro palette and I'm just going to go into the shade Punk, which is black. And I'm just going to press that in right along the lash line. And then just flick it up the tiniest bit, not really a wing, just make it like a bit thicker towards the outer half. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so gloss time. feel like vomiting about this, but let's just go for it. All right. So I've got the Gloss Angeles by Smashbox. It's just a lip gloss, but when I got it in Sephora in Hawaii, it was actually in like a special eye gloss section. So I think, like I'm not 100% sure, don't come for me if you work at Sephora, but I remember there was a reason why I decided on this clear gloss for eye gloss. I might just put it on the back of my hand and then use the brush to kind of paint it on. I'm so scared. I wish I watched a tutorial or something before I did this. I hope nobody's actually following me along because if I make a mistake. I'm just going to put it all the way up to the crease. Oh my god, I actually freaking love that. Can you see? Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so nice. I'm gonna take the gloss with me and I can't take the, oh, see it's like taking it off a little bit there, but it's not too bad. Now going in with my Benefit Bad Gal Bang, I don't really care about too much mascara cause I'm going to be putting lashes on. I don't know if that's a good idea with eye gloss. Actually, it's probably the worst idea ever. So I'm gonna put heaps of mascara on, I changed my mind. I'm gonna put the tiniest bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. And from the Thirsty palette, I'm going to go in with the silver and I'm just going to pop that on my inner corners. 
I really like this. That's really fun. Moving on to lips, I'm just going to use this lip liner from Lipstick Queen. It's called Desert Torp. I feel like it's going to be such a nice contrast. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, that's so nice. And I'm just going to grab my finger and like pat that in and kind of smudge the edges a little bit so that it looks more like Parisian and undone. Like I've just had a big patch. I love this so much. I'm going to go and do something with my hair off camera and then I'm going to come back and get dressed, okay? All right, guys. Now, I've just tied my hair up in a bun it's seriously nothing special it's the most boring thing ever but i kind of want it like that anyway just so all the focus is on the makeup and if i had my hair down today it would literally just keep blowing into the gloss on my eyes so now i'm gonna get changed i already know what i'm gonna wear so i'm just gonna get right into it all right so these are the clothes that I'm wearing. I'm just going to do up the blazer. The shorts are from Princess Polly. And this blazer is from Glassons. I just got it yesterday. And I'm just going to funk it all up a little bit with some accessories. So I've got these earrings. They're just cheapies from... Where were they from? I got them in Hawaii. Urban Outfitters. Oh, yeah, definitely. And this is the necklace that I always wear from Ana Luisa. And I'm going to wear this belt and I'm going to do it up really tight so that I look cinched AF. This belt was from Brandy Melville. So there's that. This is the purse that I was trying to match my eyes to. Not the best, not the worst. Yeah, love. Alright, I've got these shoes. They were from Boohoo a while ago. I got those these in like March. See? Okay guys, I've just got to pack my purse and then I am ready to go. So, oh, and I'm going to spritz my perfume. Matt hates this perfume because he says it reminds him of me being drunk because it's literally the only perfume I wear when I go out. I'm going to go now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am really excited to edit it because I feel like it's a bit of like a fun vibe. Anyway, love you lots. I hope you have a great day or weekend or week, whatever the heck it is when I post this and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Mwah.